Hey everybody, Jason the AVP Wargamer here, and I just got Zombicide Green Horde in the mail. Thank God they didn't send all the Kickstarter exclusives with it. That's going to be in another video when it arrives. But uh, in the meantime, yes, I will be unboxing this, and there are more zombies, unfortunately. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, Zombicide Green Horde is an expansion slash... Um, all-in-one game that uh, expands on the medieval setting for Zombicide. And here you go, you can see the box contents here. We have some adventures and a bunch of zombies, board sections, Ooh, and I see a catapult, or trebuchet, whatever you want to call it. But let's open this guy up and see what's inside. All right, already we can see a necromancer and I'm an abomination on the sides. And then we have some of the heroes listed here on the box. Fatty, Walker, Runner. That's basically what you need to know. Now, the difference with this Zombicide game is these are all orcs and goblins. And comparing to the Zombicide humans from the earlier edition called Black Plague. So, um, I actually got to play Black Plague. I don't own it, but um, I went over to a friend's house and got to play it for the first time. Now, I have played regular Zombicide a few times, and this version of Zombicide, I actually I think I like it a lot better because um, you can have spells and other items that just really kind of add to the gameplay. And these dashboards that they've changed to versus the modern Zombicide, I think these are really a good upgrade. I think they learned a lot from the first edition of Zombicide and kind of improved it for this version of the game. Um, the, the survivors are a lot more deadly and they can take a lot more damage, um, which was a problem with the, uh, the modern version of Zombicide. Um, modern version, you take two hits, you're dead and you could rarely heal up. So um, yeah, I think this was quite an improvement. It's much more balanced. Um, that being said, you're still gonna get overwhelmed by zombies um, in this game, but I do like the medieval setting. Uh, it, I was I really avoided this game. I really tried. I have way too many zombie games now, and um, I really wanted to avoid this. But in the end, good old Kickstarter with all their exclusives lured me in, and here I am with another box full of zombies that I gotta paint. Um, so, anyways, there's the a brief brief glance at the rule book. Ooh, important. These new zombie side figures have broken. Formation and are fighting in different positions. Apply the sticker to the side of the box to help you find their correct resting places. Oh, it's a sticker. It's a sticker to show you where the guys go. Maybe I'll put this on my car. Not really. All right, let's see. Oh, what do we have here? We have a box of miniatures. We'll get into that in a minute. All right, now here we have some cardboard. Oh, it looks like we have some nice little plastic cozy dividers there. It looks like these kind of help the whole things in place. That's, that's a new addition, um, rather than having chunks of foam or whatever. Okay, so here is all the stuff that you'll be needing to actually play the game. Got your board sections. You know, Cool Mini or Not has released so many of these Zombicide games. I'd really like to see like a skirmish level uh, version of this fan these kind of fantasy battles. I mean, I guess you could just use the miniatures for other fantasy battles, but here we go. So we have the boards right there. There's another one, all double-sided, very unique boards, I'd say. Got some outdoor locations as well as indoor locations. With little hedge mazes, I like that. Again, the amount of detail they put into these are really cool. I can even see some like dark and, highlight and highlighted areas, which is kind of neat. Maybe you could use this for um, uh, massive darkness, yes? In fact, um, the Kickstarter actually gave you the option to get some massive darkness um, crossover cards. So you can use these miniatures from Green Horde with massive darkness, as well as the regular... Um, Zombicide, um, Black Plague stuff. All right, here's our tokens. Oh, we have some 
some spawn tokens that include the evil wizard. Hmm, what is this? Oh, the rotten, a crown, and some sort of other zombie head. More tokens and barriers. So yeah, so a few new things here um, in this set. Now we get to my favorite, which is the miniatures. And again, I'm not excited for more frickin' zombies, but here we go. All right, so let's take a look. Looks like we got our dashboard and a bunch of models and a trebuchet. Cool. All right, so let's start with this little pack here. This has our hero cards. I will try to carefully slice this over. Oh, don't cut the card. Okay. Nick the card a little bit. That's not so good. All right. There we go. So we have some of our heroes. The back has some cool art of the hero. Oh, there's the barbarian. Look at the muscularity. Stole that from the bard. All right. So yes, we got our barbarian, female heroes, our dwarf, and our Arabian knight, and our elf. All right, so there's some of the characters. And then here we have some of the item cards. Damn you, cool me or not. Now that I have this, I'm gonna have to go back and get all the other Black Plague stuff. Ooh, here we go. We got some some weapons here. Uh, trebuchet info. Apples? Ooh, Snow White will eat some apples. <laughs> Where is the Snow White hero? I think that came in a different edition. All right. We got lots of cool weapons. That's another thing is this has so many cool weapons. Um, I really like the Zombicide weapons for the modern version, but there's something about the medieval stuff, like the enchantments and spells and all that kind of stuff that just adds an extra level. Oh, and here's our zombie spawning stuff. Um, Symbol the Horde. We've got a whole bunch of zombie spawning cards. Now, I'm not sure... I haven't played this yet, but rumor has it you put stuff in a pile whenever there are certain horde cards are drawn, and then they all come in at once. So let's see. Got orc necromancer. Yep, here's enter the horde. Uh, all zombie miniatures contained in the horde spawn in the zone. Okay, so as you're doing this game, you're placing a bunch of these um, horde models off to the side. And then once you draw the assemble the horde card, they all come in at once in one section. So that could be anywhere from a couple to like tons of zombies. All right, so we have our dashboard. Here's your tracker that keeps track of all your kills and experience, which is amazing. I really like this, really, really like this system. Um, you have your character markers, which I also really like. And then here's your life counters, which you keep track um, on up here. These this are how many times you can get hit. So you just place those markers in there and then remove them every time you get hurt. This spot is for extra markers, and then this spot is for other things that happen in the game, like what abilities you get and things like that. And here's some... Just regular D6s. Alright, and now we have the miniatures. So here's all your heroes. Cool Mini or Not has consistently gotten better and better and better with the detail they put into their models. Um, one standout here is the elf. And I just want you to look at how thin she is. And as far as material, she's slightly flexible, but it's not, it's not so much that your paint's going to chip off. 
and just the, the detail inside the mouths of like these goblins. And look at that. That's pretty good. I'd say that's really good detail for, you know, game board plastic, you know, miniatures. So you got all your basic one of each type zombie type displayed in the front here. There are two kind of fatties on either end. And then you've got the catapult, also known as a trebuchet. Um, this is really cool. It's got um, a, lot of, a lot going for it. I'm wondering if this can actually rotate. I don't think it can. Looks like it's glued into place, but um, that's a lot of cool detail, and it looks like it's just ready to launch. Um, it almost feels like these wheels are supposed to turn, but they don't. Yeah, that's that's really cool. It's really good detail if it looks like it's supposed to move, but it doesn't. All right, now for the horde. Oh, God. I'm going to have to figure out how to speed paint all these guys. Okay, so just rows of fatties and goblins. Just tons and tons of green skins. Yep, that's the green horde, all right. Oh, boy. You know, last last time I made the mistake of putting Games Workshop bases on all of my zombies, I'm not going to make that mistake again, because, you know, these bases are fine. I don't need to rebase everything like a crazy person. That was really dumb for me to spend all that money rebasing all these guys, because, let's face it, when you have hordes and hordes of these guys coming out at you, you're, you don't need to rebase them. And look, they've actually made the bases thicker. See that? That's a lot more like the Games Workshop size base. And these guys are still thinner, but you know what? <sighs> just take my advice. If you feel like you want to rebase these guys, just save yourself the trouble. They don't need it. You're going to be killing thousands of these guys, so they're going to be constantly going in your box as you kill them. So, yeah. Yeah, rebasing them all. I'm not going to do it. Look at that orc shaman. So yeah, mutated zombie orcs. Zombicide green horde. Well, there you go. Oh, hey look. They even say where the miniatures go, kind of. Yeah, it's the same thing. Huh. Give you a sticker. Just for fun. You don't even need it. Well, this might be one box I might actually keep. Um, all my other zombie side stuff I put in a separate containers. But this is actually a really nice carrying case. And it's all themed, so. Way to go! Hey, cool man or not, good job. I can't wait for the expansions and more crap that I have to paint. So, how do I feel about Zombicide Green Horde? I'm excited. It looks like a really fun game. Um, like I said, I got to play Zombicide Black Plague, and I really liked it. Um, I actually liked it a little bit more than normal Zombicide, even though I've invested a ton of money into regular Zombicide. Um, and now it looks like I'm going to have to start getting these models, too. Um, I'm really excited about it for a couple reasons. Um, one is the models are amazing. All the Kickstarter stuff that hasn't come yet is also equally as amazing, and I'm really excited for all that. Um, am I excited to paint it all? Probably not, because I have Walking Dead stuff still needing to be painted, and I'm still painting stuff from the other Zombicide stuff. Uh, I just gotta find a quicker technique to paint all my stuff and get it out of my way. Um, but that that's really my only complaint so far, is that just too much stuff to paint. But hey, you're getting your money's worth. You get That's a lot of models for what usually retails anywhere between 60 to to $100, depending on where you get it. So anyways, um, yeah, if you like zombies and you like medieval stuff, check out Zombicide Green Horde. I really like it.